because I've got the balls. Yeah. So, Jody, it's a pleasure uh, to meet you. Thank well, you. let's talk about the movie because uh, our time is very limited, okay. of course. Okay. Um, you show us criminals who want to uh, earn money on the back of the normal private investors from the middle class, but it seems to that you don't question the whole system itself. So why not? Well, I'm, you know, every film sets out to do what it sets out to do. Um, I'm very interested in characters, very interested in, in people and um, their relationships and the small little details. Uh, I'm very interested in failure, men and their failure and, and how they look for value. They look for money or fame in order to make themselves feel better about themselves. So that was of interest to me. The backdrop of the film is the financial world, the world of broadcast television, and the world of technology. Those three things and how they intermingle with each other and how dangerous that is. Um, but, um, but my films will always be personal films first. Uh, we see in Money Monster, Money Monster as a show, as infotainment. So uh, I think everyone needs to get entertained, uh, even in serious topics. 20 years ago, I think Money Monster would be a serious, just stock TV show. Yes. So why uh, is that development right now so present for everyone? Well, that's what's happening in the world right now, is that journalism has sort of lost its way. Um, there's this, you know cultural phenomenon of entertainment news and um, all of those things getting mixed up together and um, it's impossible to get at the real facts um, you're being sold to everything's about selling to you so that relationship with the audience was in, of interest to me media and how media gets involved in our political lives and our social lives and our you know in our culture um, right now, social media is everywhere, and you have just two or three exceptions in the movie where you show it. And I think you you had a good decision not to show the reaction on the social web because if uh, that hostage would be live right now, the internet would be ex exploding. So, uh, what was the reason you decided not to show all this stuff uh, around? Well, we did. We did show it. We just um, we waited. Uh, so much of the movie happens in terms of their relationship and the very specific characters that they're interacting with. And it grows over time. So it grows into the coffee shops and then it grows into the international realm and then it grows into social media. So social media is the last layer. Um, because social media is so absurd and because of what you would be seeing on social media was so absurd, um, that tone of the film, it shifted the tone of the film. Mm -hmm. And so it's why we only brought it in at a very specific time. We see Lee is stuck in his job, Patty is stuck in his job, Carl is working his ass off mm. to, <laughs> to get his money. Do you think we work too much? Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, nobody ever asked me that. I mean, I think, uh, no, I don't think we work, we work enough. I mean, no, I, I don't think we work too much. Uh, I think the film, the, the people's um, relationship with money, uh, especially in America, is, um, is all about their identity um, because they've lost their identities. They don't know who they are. These characters don't know who they are unless they're being valued in a system. And um, that system is either fame or money. Um, and that's really quite sad. Um, and I think the film talks about that. Okay, thanks a lot. I really miss you on screen. Oh, thank you. This is beileibe kein schräger Vogel. Mal sehen, was er für uns hat. Wo ist der blöde Papagei? Na, was bringen Sie mir? Keine Bewegung. Ist er von der Gewerkschaft? Oh Gott! Die Scheiße! Wir unterbrechen! Schaltet die Kameras wieder ein! Schaltet die Kameras wieder ein! Hier da drin, schaltet die Kameras wieder ein! Äh, das geht nicht, wenn sie erstmal aus sind, sind sie Sie aus. lügen! Wir schalten sofort die Kameras wieder ein! Ich Patty! Patty! Du dich 10 bis 3 und dann drück ich ab, das schwöre ich! Patty, tu doch was! Patty! Eins! Patty, was soll ich machen? Patty! Schalt sie an, Patty! Zwei! Was soll ich machen? Wir senden. Uh, Jack, it's a pleasure to meet you. Awesome. You did a great Sorry. job. So, uh, your first reaction as you uh, read the script about what you were more, su uh, more surprised about, how finance market works, or what even in a hostage situation a media would make out of it? I'll tell you the truth, Sonic. I, I, when I read the script, I still didn't understand how the finance market works. I still don't think I do. Such is the embezzlement and, and the confusion that I think is by design. Um, But certainly having watched, watched the movie and, and, and having it illustrated, it illustrated to me very clearly, um, 
you know, the actualities, the, the, the victimizations that, that, that apply, you know, globally um, you know, as a result of, of, of greed in, in the Western financial climate, I guess. I mean, not just particular to the West, but that's where this story is set. Um, so, yeah, I, f I find it quite harrowing, but I also think that there's a, a lot of neglect that, that happens on a public scale that is, is perhaps just as guilty. Um, so, yeah, it's a confusing one, but I, I'm very thankful for the education. But also your last characters were a very strong, passionate man, but uh, also with lots of aggressive uh, potential. How can you explain that, that you... It seems to be everyone gives you a rural character who's aggressive. Because <laughs> I've got the balls. Yeah, really. I don't know. I, I think well, one thing that was um, quite apparent to me growing up is it like there was a, I saw a lot of anger growing up, whether it was at school or bravado out in the street or whatever. Uh, I saw I, I saw the the the. I saw that aggression was used as a tool to intimidate people or at least to deter your own victimization. And, and, and so it was quite accessible to me growing up, I think through experience. Um, but I, and then I also I've, I've, I've been able to work with very experienced and, and very outstanding actors. I think as early as when I was a kid. So when I would watch performances, I, it, it, it was quite easy for me to realise what I found genuine and what I felt was forced and, and acted. And I, I think there's a huge gulf there between acting and, 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 and really trying to involve yourself in those emotions. So you really felt it? Yeah, yeah, I try to all the time, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. Nice one, man. It was great, and uh, keep doing it. I love your appearance on the screen, so... Thank you, Sonny. <laughs>